I know they look the same, but they're not. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. In 1947, a logger named Joseph Cox down in Portland, Oregon, invented and designed a new saw chain that most would agree revolutionized the industry from that point on. In fact, most any saw chain you buy for your chainsaw today is still based on that original design. That saw chain, however, was engineered and developed primarily to fit the power curve of a gas-powered saw. Most of the major saw manufacturers have been perfecting battery-powered chainsaws over the last number of years, and they're getting really good at it, including Oregon. However, they're still basing the chain chassis technology on that old original design. It's my understanding that the power curve characteristics of a battery-driven saw differ from that of a gas-driven saw. Yet generally, the companies are using a chain chassis that's engineered to take advantage of or maximize the power of a gas saw until now. Josh from Oregon down in Portland contacted me recently. They're pretty excited down there. They've just patented what they believe to be the first chain chassis engineered and designed specifically to maximize the efficiency of a battery driven saw. They call it their speed cut nanotechnology. And they sent me a CS325 and he asked me to take it out in the forest and try it out. You bet I will. I think somebody told all the mosquitoes I was going to be back here today. Let's hope they didn't warn the black flies. As you folks know, we've had a CS300 for about 12 months now. It very quickly became one of our favorite saws to haul into the forest with us. Great limbing saw. The CS325, as you can tell, is almost identical or similar in many ways, except that the 325 does not have a built-in sharpener, but it doesn't have their supercut nanotechnology. Josh told me that this newly designed or engineered chain chassis will provide a more smooth, efficient, and quicker cut. We're going to test them both out today out in the forest. The CS series is part of their outdoor cordless technology, uses all the same standard batteries. So we're going to throw the 6 ampere battery into the new 325, and we brought along a spare battery for the CS300. Let's head out. Gonna make our first cut or two with the old CS300. Get a feel for that, and then we're gonna try out that new Supercut Nano. Six inches. Now with the CS325. Wow. Oh my goodness. One more.
Wow, that's impressive. Josh was not kidding. Can't believe the difference. I know, it's only a limbing saw, but she's about seven inches. We gotta give it a shot, you know me. That's pretty cool. Wow. Josh, I almost have to apologize to you. When you told me about all the new specs and the engineering design of this brand new chassis on the chain, I believed you that it might be a little better, but it is literally a huge step forward. The CS300 is an excellent saw, we love it. And we thought it cut really well, and it does. But this Supercut Nano, with the new chain design for the battery operated efficiencies, well, all I can say is I'm pretty impressed. Whew. Looks like 
Looks like the black flies found me finally. Josh, big thanks to you and to Oregon Outdoor Products. It's a wonderful saw. I love it. I think Guy's going to love it as well, just as much or better than we do the CS300. You are 100% right. Far smoother cut, far cleaner, and really fast. Really digs through that wood. And for those of you watching, no need to jump on the internet to check out this new saw. It hasn't even been released yet. It's so new. I wanted to thank Oregon Products for sending it to me ahead of time to try out in the forest. I'm looking forward to using it again all summer. And I'll come back in a few months and let you know a follow-up on it and what I think of it. Thanks for sticking around. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button. And if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families. Please remember to be kind. And I'll see you again on the next one, right here on GP Outdoors. Cheers.